Hi Cancer, welcome to your <coughs> weekly forecast. Now this is for March 31st until April 6th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Cancer, you'll hear from you'll hear from somebody from the past, which is a younger fire sign. Ooh, looks like you need to watch her back. Double time. Somebody's really up for mischief. <coughs> Somebody will be planning or doing something behind you. Will also be uh, betraying you, lying to you, deceiving you. And it has something to do with an old woman. Or with a, like a, like a matured air sign woman. Okay. Well, changes are coming your way. And it looks like money is also coming. There are also some un unexpected news. Well, positive news. That will be coming your way. And you'll be very, very happy with this. It will be coming rapidly in your life. And you need to be prepared. Now, somebody from the past, which is a younger water or fire sign, will be getting in touch with you. And I feel like because of the news that they will be giving to you, you're going to be very unsettling, um, anxious, sad, and there's like a very sad and heavy news that you will be um, that you will be receiving. And I feel like you need to balance between your you know your obligation to this person and to your job because you can't give up your job and you can't give up you know this person. But it's like you just need to figure out. Which should come first. Um, I also feel like you need to be very careful. Because this is not really the, the right time for you to take to go on a vacation. Or to take a break. Because by the time that you get back. You might be losing your place. Because someone is really pl well planning and plotting. Some. You know bad stuff. Right behind you. And it seems like this person is really determined. To put you in a very bad situation or danger. And if you're not gonna cooperate, then I feel like they're also gonna try and frame you up in a, you know, in a um, problem that you did not even commit. It. Now, with the news that you will be receiving, it's like you don't know what to do. You don't know if you're gonna move forward or move backwards, stay still, or, you know, do something about it. Because you don't know if it's the right time to act or if it's really the right time for you to do the things that you needed to do when it comes to your family. You'll be very happy that finally this person, you know, breaks the ice and, you know, you're able to talk much better than before. But then it seems like there, there's something that they're not really telling you, but you can sense it, that there is something wrong. And with the way they deliver the words, it's like they're already, you know, doing some, you know, some last minute stuff. And uh, I feel like this is what's going to be like crushing your heart. That, you know, you will also be recalling those wasted times and the wasted chances that, you know, if that did not happen, then you should have spent a lot more time together. Now, there is somebody from the past that you're kind of expecting and they'll be reaching out to you finally and i feel like this is more like this soulmate figure or soulmate person um a, an older fire sign will also be walking away from you but then i feel like this person will be leaving a fortune or will be leaving money or figure uh, an unexpected money to you just to make up for the uh, you know for the lost times together and you will also be turning to your friends you'll be feeling a little bit unhappy sad depressed and lonely and 
even though you want to you know you want to mold more chances or more opportunities it's like you need to cut off some times or some stuff around your social life or around you just to fulfill some obligations to other people who really needed you right now but actually there are two people who needed you the most okay and you don't know which one you should be choosing or which one you should be prioritizing okay mm. I feel like this younger uh, fire sign or water sign that will be coming your way is you know um, they're gonna be bearing some sad news but they're not gonna tell you the truth which is you will eventually figure out what's really wrong with them as you will be talking to somebody that is like a uh, like a relative or somebody that's close to them and this person do have some grudges against you that's why they're gonna be telling you the truth and because of that you will be making a decision to you know to take some time off even if, though it's just like a very short period of time like three days and you need to go there okay it's like damn it I'm gonna do it you know even though you're very much needed to your work at this point and you know the person that you are working with or that you work for is currently expecting some deliveries or expecting some deadlines to be handed over or for you to be there and this week even though it's a little bit depressing and even though it's uh, a little bit sad you know at least the money will be making up for that because there will be some unexpected money that will be coming your way and i feel like there are three people around you that you are that you need to spend more time with and that you need to make up for those lost times okay because you cannot turn back time once it's all with the lost and um, i feel like the communication that you're expecting from somebody from the past Actually, you're expecting a different person from the past, but then this person, this another person, is somebody that you're that you're not really expecting to get in touch with you, and it will come as a surprise. But they are the one who's also going to be surprising you as well, because they are going to be coming. They're going to be coming with a baggage of, eh, like a certain news, you know. You're a very workaholic person, and you do good in making money. But when it comes to your family or to your relatives, it's like you're also willing to give it all. And you're willing to do whatever it takes just to make them happy and to protect them. And to make them well. Okay. Well, just hold on tight there. You know, things will change, and this is only for this week. And who knows that next week it will be a little bit different story or it will be a different, uh, sorry, it will be a different forecast already. Alright, so anyway, that's it for you for this week, Cancer. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.